time now for weather with Nebraska Extension Ag Climatologist and Market Journal Chief Meteorologist Al Dutcher. Al, as we mentioned at the top of the show, big weather event earlier this week with that derecho. But for us here in Nebraska, it's been another hot week. What can you tell us? Yes, Troy, we had quite the event in Iowa. That derecho event just skirted uh, the, to the north and to the northeast of Nebraska. We got a little bit of the wind, but most of the severe weather across to Iowa, considerable damage. It's going to take a while to know the full extent, but considerable, considerable hunk of the central part of the state got nailed pretty good on this one and winds up to 100 to 110 miles per hour. There's not much that can withstand that in this region, at least of the country. And we're dealing with the hot and dry weather. And unfortunately, as we go forward in time, the opportunities for significant moisture are not there, but there is a, at least a slight cool down, particularly in the eastern half of the state during the first half of this period. And then things start to warm up as we go later into the week. So let's get right to the forecast and look at the upper miles, see what the precipitation chances are really at as we go forward in time. As you can see from today's upper air model, we're dealing with that high pressure ridge in the southwest build up with the center Rockies and that trough that brought the cold front through the state during the overnight hours is moving off to the east of us. High pressure falling in on the back side of that cold front. Of course, it's gonna bring some cooler weather into our region, slightly drier air as the precipitation exits southeastern Nebraska during these morning hours. We'll see a fairly nice day for the remainder of the day. That ridge builds a little bit farther north and we'll see a piece of energy trying to move down the front side of that ridge, but it looks like it's gonna to skirt to the well to the east of us and we'll be pretty much under the high pressure across the state. The only organized precipitation of any consequence is basically a little piece of impulse going across Oklahoma and Kansas. And then by Monday, we start to see that ridge expand. We might see some frontal boundary uh, thunderstorm activity along the front range, high pressure firmly in control over the upper Midwest. There's just not a lot of moisture there to deal with. Most of these are gonna be just scattered thunderstorms develop in the afternoon and then fizzle out as the nighttime progresses. By Tuesday, the warmth starts to return to western Nebraska. We start to moderate our temperatures in eastern Nebraska. Get a little old pressure system up in Montana that's gonna ride down the front of this ridge. Might actually induce some thunderstorm activity in southwestern Nebraska. But most of that will remain well to our west and will not make it into eastern Nebraska. By Wednesday, now we start to see the relaxation of the temperatures as the ridge starts to build even farther toward the east. Low pressure once again develops in eastern Montana. That might send another piece of energy down the front side of this ridge. That'd be targeting central and western Nebraska for isolated thunderstorms. By the time we get to Thursday, the heat starts to return in earnest to eastern Nebraska. We do see one piece of energy trying to move around the periphery of that ridge that may bring some thunderstorm activity with also a cold front through the state, but it's gonna hang up somewhat. So that might generate a few isolated thunderstorms in central Nebraska. But Friday looks like being the best chance in eastern Nebraska for precipitation. The ridge kind of backs off a little bit as another piece of energy moving in the upper air trough over the north southern Canada tries to work its way into our region. That'll drive a cold front through the state. So there's not a lot of moisture to work with, but at least there's a chance for some scattered, isolated shower activity. The most, most concentrated area will be well to our north and east across Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan. As we go farther out in time, unfortunately, we see to keep that cool weather into the southeastern United States, that high pressure ridge remains to our west, so we're going to be kind of caught between the two of them here in Nebraska. So temperatures will basically be fairly close to normal in the east, but we are going to be well above normal across the west. And in terms of precipitation, it looks like that ridge rebuilds back in. That's going to shut off the moisture outside of for some isolated ridge runners. Those don't look to be very promising in terms of moisture. However, I will add that as we look at the 26th, when this model goes to the 25th, we start to, to see some thunderstorm activity trying to build into the state. So fingers crossed, it looks like maybe a more active pattern starts to develop toward the end of the month. So that's it for right now, Troy. It looks like overall, we're gonna be looking at a fairly dry forecast with a warming trend as we get to the second half of next week. So not much in the way of drought really in store. 